Good morning! So, we woke up, well I woke up at 7. I don't know what time Chris woke up, but ultimately it didn't get light until around 7, which is unusual. It usually gets, like sunrise is usually earlier than this during your through hike, so being that it's in October, I guess that makes sense. Um, but yeah, my sleep was... Like, I, I kept falling asleep and then waking up, falling asleep, waking up. Chris, how was your sleep? I slept really well with my new quilt and my new pad. Yeah. He said he had really great sleep because he got a Thermarest x Light sleeping pad. He had originally planned to um, just have one of those foam pads, yep. um, but he also decided to get a quilt and so... I had mentioned to him that I would highly recommend to get a sleeping, a blow up sleeping pad when you use a quilt. I told him you can still do whatever you want to do, but I'd highly recommend a sleeping pad like that you can blow up with so a quilt. And was it a good suggestion? It was so much better. So much better and yeah. so cozy. Like the Thermarest X Lite really is such really a cozy cool. pad. I mean, you know, because I was using the um, Apollo Air recently, and it's co it's nice too, but man, the X-Lite is just so comfortable. So anyway, we're planning to hike about 14.1 miles via far out, which probably means 19,000 miles in real life. We've got some uphill at the beginning of the day for like 8 miles or something like that. And then the rest of the day is kind of like, what do you do? Like at the top, so... And then there's the beautiful sun. Do you see it? Whee! Right over there. Okay, get started now. And off we go. It is about 54 degrees. Got some blow downs. Blow down crossing. <gasps> Let's see Chris's skills. Blow down, crossing. Fancy. We are crossing Allen Gap. And now, we have quite some uphill. I think it's about five miles of uphill, if not more. And here's a sign. We are here at Allen Gap, 2,234. Boom. So this is the spot where we camped last year on the Appalachian Trail, and I remember it because there was a lot of people here. We had five tents, for us, then a guy named Strider and uh, his hiking partner. And then there was also um, Salt Bay, Clutch, and I don't remember the other guy's name, but we all were here. Chris got his first trail magic. A Jesus Christ pamphlet. This is freshwater trash can. So some actual trail magic, homemade cookie, freshwater trash can. So normally last time she had her cookie stand right here and it was all packed. So let's see if we want to go. If not, we can keep walking. How far is it? I've never walked this way. I don't think it's far. What do you want to do? Do you want to go? What do you want to do? I don't, it's your hike. Oh, stop saying that. It's your hike. <laughs> hike. Your so we decided to check it out. Then we walk. And she's only like, look, it's like literally just a... Hop like and scotch. Huh? This is like her driveway or Yeah, something. isn't that cool? Yeah. This is cool. Ooh. The trash can. Water for dogs. The cooler. Cookies. And then the cookies. So I got the cookie. I got some trick or treating. Got, got some water. Look, she even has a stamp. <laughs> Hi, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay. 
Let's be honest. You were a little bit worried walking there, right? I was. And? Did I'm so glad it? we did it, yes. Yeah? I'm really Do you, glad we did Will it. you feel more comfortable walking in two strangers' homes now? Yeah, she was super nice. <laughs> I mean, Good. so nice. Yeah, she was super nice. So I didn't film her because <coughs> I'm always so awkward filming trail angels. Um, I know some of my subscribers are like, why you never film your trail angels? You're so not thankful. It's like because it's awkward to put a camera in their face. Mm -hmm. But anyway, she's moved here two years ago. So when we got her trail magic, we were the first class where she would put the cookies out. And I think she said, what, 2,300 cookies mm -hmm. she made for our class of 2022. And I think this year she's already at 2000, like 3,000? Or was it 2,700? I thought she said she was over 2,700. 2,700. Right? She's already made 2,700 packs of cookies. And so that's super cool. It was so nice to meet her. Make sure you don't miss out on it. She um, changed the location because people would just grab more than one pack. She used to write on there, please just take one pack. But people just be grabbing them cookies. So come on through, hikers. Be respectful. Just do one pack. And it was so cool. So let's get back to hiking this way. We would make fun of it. Okay, at a shelter, we hiked, according to Farout, 6.8... 7.37. 7 7.37 on his oh, watch. And we're gonna have lunch. We're halfway done with the day, pretty much. A little bit less than halfway. And I think today we are going to hit, like, a mile marker. Like a 300 mile oh, marker really? or a 400 mile marker. Yeah. And we're off. We have about 1.7 miles left to the tip top for, I, I mean, there's obviously always ups and downs, but 1.7 to get the morning climb out of the way. We made it to the top and on today's episode of finding random things, A shirt and a sock. Alrighty then. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you do hike the Appalachian Trail in October, don't rely on the abundance of water sources because the water sources here on this here trail are dry. So, we don't have any water coming up until our final destination, which is in 4.8 miles. Maybe we'll find something on the way, but I doubt it. <laughs> So this is the big fire scald knob. Trail builder. Howard's Rock, master trail builder. He's got a good rock. It doesn't even look anything steep when I do it on video. You know, I've noticed that too in the past, trying to take videos of stuff that... All right, I was just about to say, I didn't see it. Here's a 300 Ooh. mile marker.
We found our campsite, which is very near the shelter. Um, according to Far Out, we hiked 14.2. According to the Garmin, it's 15.2. So I know we walked to the sugar, the sugar lady, <laughs> the sugar mama, um, to the cookie lady, which probably was like, I mean, not even a half a mile. Like 100 yards. Like, yeah. So something wrong with Far Out. So we're sitting here having lunch. Dinner. Well, actually, dinner. <laughs> and we had a good talk. And I'm going to change the camera. I'm going to have a look at Mr. Chris. So, right. Mr. Chris, P. Paul. So, Roadrunner. So, we made a decision, didn't we? We did. And the decision is that we are going to discontinue our hike tomorrow. And we would have, we would like to discontinue at this very moment, but <laughs> we need some sort of gap to get out of here. Yep. So tell us what what's the thought and what happened and. Um, I mean, first we did a, a really tough two days. Um, they were both fifteen mile days. They were both over four thousand feet of climb both days. Today, we saw everything from bouldering to some really steep climbs. Um, today's trail was really tough. Um, and my 62 year old body is whipped but at the same time um, it was really good for me and because i had not section hike anything even remotely close to this and i think that anybody that thinks that they're ready or wants to know if they're ready to hike the trail and through hike the trail they need to pick a section like we've done the last two days and if you can survive it and you feel good about it afterwards, you'll probably be fine. Yeah. Uh, my question is because my, they will ask, like, why did we decide to do so many miles? That was what I wanted to do when, yeah. when um, I contacted you about doing it and you asked me what you wanted to do. And I said, you know, I want to look at 15 mile days. I like mm -hmm. hiking late to the day and whatnot. And I mean... I thought I was ready for that. I mean, I did it, but at the same time, I mean, my body's paying a price for it. Yeah. Yeah, so one of the things that I thought was a mistake to do mm -hmm. the 15 miles, yep. um, when he initially <coughs> told me that that's what he wanted to do, I'm the kind of person that doesn't want to limit somebody. And I remember him saying, I prefer to just hike little longer during the day and mm -hmm. I thought to myself okay if he wants to hike longer then 15 miles would not be yeah, some bad not mileage like camp early. yeah like look up getting into camp early is kind of boring honestly mm -hmm. um so you know I was kind of wondering maybe I should have made you hike less mileage but at the same time I, I don't like to I don't <laughs> like to limit anybody like Chris actually shared that he he went to some other class where you know they were preparing him for through hiking and one of the things that he thought he was going to do the four months through hike which how, how many miles would that be like per day it's average like 18 miles a day 18 mile average per day <clears throat> so like if you decide to through hike in four months it's like an 18 mile average and so that's kind of what you thought you would do right mm -hmm. and so we kind of go with what we anticipate we would want to do during a through hike so if he planned to do a four month through hike 15 miles where was the right decision with regard to your thought process right. but 15 miles might not be the right decision to actually do the trail right so has this changed your mind on whether you want to through hike i still want to through hike but i just don't know if it'll end up being a bunch of section hikes yeah so he can do like a section through hike right mm -hmm. where he would do sections every year and eventually through hike so mm -hmm. but um yeah so this is what this kind of shakedown can do to you you know it's, it gives you the reality of the hike it really does and that's and that's what i wanted i mean yeah. i really did i wanted honesty i didn't want it candy coated i wanted to you don't get candy coated it, with yeah, me. <laughs> i wanted to take it as hard as i could get it and see how it shook out yeah and we did well thanks for this uh journey thank you thank you i enjoyed it <laughs>